hello, hello. It's Tuesday morning. It's about quarter past nine. I've just got up. I've been awake a while, but you know, doom scrolling on my phone. So Simon's off today. Ian needed the day off for something. I don't know. So Simon is off today, no working. He's just made breakfast. We got poached eggs. They're not fancy. Right, so I've arrived in Barnsley, me and Alex. We're off for a Nando's for lunch, and I've got a few things on my shopping list. I need yarn for pumpkins, cinnamon sticks if I can find them, and some shampoo. What a lovely day! It's proper bright and lovely. It's really busy. A lot of students about. I guess they've all just gone back to college and stuff. So Nando's it is, the usual I expect. Usual? Yeah. A yes or maybe. There's one maybe, the rest were yes. So that was so tasty. I've not had that in ages. And it was gorgeous. So we're off into the market. I need some yarn for some pumpkins. Oh yeah. Round the outside, round the outside. So I went for Hayfield Chunky. Really nice colour for pumpkins. A little bit more orange than the other one. But it's Hayfield as well. Really good yarn. So I got three. We're off to body care now because I need some shampoo. You know when there's a shop assistant and they're super helpful but you just literally want to say, well just give it a minute. Let me look and see what there is. Ooh. Anyway, I know it's been helpful but sometimes you just want to look, don't you? Body care. Both of the feet, uh, they don't have screws. I've just jammed them in there with pliers <laughs> because they broke. Oh. So what kind of case do you want? What colour? Um, black or green. Green? You're feeling a bit of green. So we've just been into Specsavers and Boots. Boots to get the prescription. And then over to Specsavers because Alex has chosen some glasses that... Alex has needed new glasses for ages. And we've just kind of finally got round to it. No vlog has no idea you wear glasses, but Alex wears glasses. But the prescription's only small, isn't it? Yeah. So there we are, we're finally got glasses. Whoop whoop. So I think to celebrate, we're off for ice cream. If they've got it. Because last twice, I think. It's like three times. I've been three there. times they didn't have it. So yeah. What's the name of it? Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet. It is nice though. I have had it, it's very good. So, we're going to walk into the deserted cine world. There's nobody ever in it! I don't know how they managed to keep going, I really don't. It's it's now minimum 5,000 and any donation Wow, that's really good! You're likely to get a lot more people in that way. You can't go anyway, regardless of the prices. See salted camera ca camrel camrel sounds nice, but it's got nuts in it. So you've just lost me. I'm gonna try the, the chocolate cookie dough at the back. In a tub? I'm gonna try it. Oh try it first. Yeah, good Test plan. It. Test, Test it out. Test, Test it. it. Test it. Yeah. Cotton candy, yeah, beach day. Black yeah, forest, yeah. black cherry, no, you lost me. If I had one, it don't make sense. I'm not. Which? Oh, like the shape. The shape. The shape. The shape. The shape. The shape. Yeah, and they haven't and got they any. Never have any shape. That back one, cotton candy. Yeah, you know, as a kid, when you have uh, plasticine, you mix it together. It does look like. It looks That's like what it looks like. Yeah, play doh with graham cracker. Ew. I thought it was pronounced graham cracker. In America, it's graham. That's but, how yeah, but we the say graham. graham. Yeah. But it's graham. 
See, none of them I'm drawn to. Salt caramel, yeah, but no nuts. Yes. Um, could we taste one? The chocolate chip cookie dough, please. Just doing a taste test. I see, I don't like grainy. This is weird. Don't have to get any if you're not feeling it. Mm. Is it worth the money? No. no. That was kind of weird. It was like, do we just walk away now because we're not going to have it? Or do we like say no, thank you? So in the end, I just went, nah, I'm not really feeling it. But thank you for letting us taste it. Yeah. So it was a bit grainy and not an awful lot of flavour. The Shame. ice cream itself is really lovely, and like the little chunk of chips are really nice. It's just a cookie dough, it's a giant chunk of just grainy, tasteless yeah. dough. And it was not really worth it. Like, I've had the ice cream, but it's like the cookie dough bits, and it's like the cookie dough part of it. Yeah. So there's no point spending the money on ice cream, I'm not going to eat it. Yep, I agree. And it's not the cheapest ice cream, it's really it's not. not. So if you're going to treat yourself, you want it to be worth it. Hence why I get in the trouble this massage. Yeah. But you'll never have it. Is it like available on any of these online, you know, where they Probably have it posted it. to your home? Probably could buy it from Basketball. Maybe. Like a gallon. And let you, like a year's <laughs> supply of ice cream. So do we have a plan? Or do you think we're done? I don't know what we're doing now. I should really do some painting today, but... Oh. Let's take a, uh, Woohoo! Let's go to the post office then. That's exciting. No. You still go in. Oh. I'm in the Morrison's. I thought I would grab some dinner, some dinner for tea, some food for dinner, and see if they've got any cinnamon sticks. I've had a really lovely time with Alex. It was brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Right, I'm back. I've been to Morrison's for some shopping on my way home, which you've just seen. I've got mince, bread, cheese, sauce, all the bits and pieces. We're basically going to do a meal where. I do a baguette, I then uh, do mince with bolognese sauce or some sort of tomato <coughs> passata sauce. I then put cheese on and we have a sauce on the side. And I have got lemon muffins with some cream for afterwards. Uh, and I'm sure there will be some people in the vlog who are, well, that are watching the vlog like, oh my God, she's having so much fattening stuff. I'm kind of at a point where I'm just, my brain is stressed with thinking about food 24-7, what I'm supposed to eat, what I'm not supposed to eat, all that. So what I'm trying to do is just make my portion sizes a bit smaller at the moment and doing it that way because it's starting to melt my brain and making me stressed. Um, so I did find cinnamon sticks, Morrison's Cook It ones, the, was it Swatch, Swatch, something like that. This would double the price. So I'm like, no, we'll go for Morrison's. You get the grand total of three. Woo, let's, you know, push the boat out. Let's have a smell. Can't get in it. Where's my scissors? Scissors. I've just broke my nail as well. Scissors. There they are. Scissors. I've got two packs, pound each pack. There's three in it each one I can't even get into this the bit you're supposed to pull don't pull right how do we get in oh now that smells good oh can't get the other side open just pulling my nail off smells incredible so the idea is that in the top of the pumpkin we put the cinnamon stick 
and it shoves down into the center so it makes it smell beautiful that's the idea with some little string around the top so here's my original pumpkin and i am doing a tutorial so watch out for that that's why i've got all this stuff together this was my second pumpkin but i made it a bit too long so it looked like a big sausage instead of pumpkin shape so when i tried to get both sides to to it didn't work i didn't quite get the size right so i made it into a hat and it's super cute it's just like a pumpkin hat it's gorgeous um so while i was out you will have seen i bought some yarn i've gone for bonus chunky by hayfield extra value uh it's nice chunky uh, it's the same as this one, but obviously more orange. Uh, I really like this colour, but it's like a not quite ripe pumpkin, isn't it? It looks a bit tomato with this one. So we want it to be a bit more pumpkin-y by going for this. £2.50 a ball, I got three. Probably could have got them cheaper online, but waiting for it and faffing, I just got some. Uh, so I'll be doing a tutorial with those. Uh, I'm making some more pumpkins and stuff. Another tip is you can put a little bit of um, cinnamon powder inside of the pumpkin to make it smell nice. I also bought some shampoo from Body Care. I've gone for Alberto Balsam Juicy Apple Shampoo and the conditioner to go with it. And they're a pound each, so it's two quid. Um, I was actually using a little one and it's really good. It's like Pantene. Uh, but because I wasn't at Lidl, I went to Body Care and I got these. It smells incredible. It really does. I don't tend to stick to any particular shampoo for a long length of time because it tends to build up on your hair, so I like to change every so often. I've gone from um, Pantene, Tresemme, VO5 numerous different ones and i've discovered that vi is away on holiday in filey so the videos i filmed this morning for vi to edit vi is not going to edit them because vi's in filey so i'm going to be editing them which is giving me more work to do which is fine it's my videos but um i hadn't planned for that so i've got to plan for that now and fit it in somewhere with all the other stuff i've got to do so i think i'm going to pause have a, have a cup of tea and then see what time it is to organise dinner. Yeah. Mmm, is it lovely? Are you hungry? Morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's eight o'clock. Twins is on in the background. It came on when the... TV came back on because the power went off this morning and uh, yeah I've not had the best morning um, there was no power when we got up which is not a big deal that's fine uh, and then when the power came on I took my Invisalign out to have a cup of tea and Alfie chewed the bottom set so what do I do now what do I do how does this work I've not done this, had this issue before. So I've messaged my orthodontist to find out what happens now. Do I put the old one back in? Or do I put the next one in? What do I do? It's uh, frustrated me quite a bit. Oh, hello. So the orthodontist advised me to put the next one in. So I've got the current week on my top set. And the bottom set has now got next week's in it. So that's got to stay two weeks. And this one will need to get changed next Monday. But I'll still do my scan box as usual. So it's now 10 to 2. I'm in the shop. I'm working on a crochet jumper down here. Uh, I've put my little hat out on display with my uh, pumpkin. Um, but I've been pretty busy. I've been adding masks up onto the wall sorting out glass paperweights lots of customers in and out so it's been fairly busy but i'm pretty sure it's going to go dead now because the bakery next door closes at two o'clock so i'm here till about three and then i'm going home for a while uh, and then i'm coming back again for the crystal live 
Uh, so you'll be watching this vlog just before the Crystal Live on Instagram. So if you do want to get involved in the Crystal Live, it's on Instagram, pop over uh, and I'll be showing things in the shop. Last week went okay, not too bad for the first one back. Um, but I'm just feeling a bit today. You know where you could just get in bed and just sleep? feel like that. Oh hello again. It's now 10 to 4. I'm back home. Shop closed about quarter to 3. Should be 3 o'clock but it had gone really quiet by then. Shop did pretty well today. Pretty pleased. Mainly antiques but I did see uh, sell a bag uh, and some incense, some wooden boxes. So all in all it was a pretty good day. I've got a wee bit more energy now because <laughs> uh, I didn't really have an awful lot earlier and I've spotted there's a hole in the top I think I didn't sew it well enough so I'm going to sew that all oh hello 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 it's now Thursday it's four o'clock I've had quite the busy day this morning I was sorting stuff out in the kitchen getting rid of bits and pieces I've done admins I edited a video uh, I did a whole load of postage, took it to the post office. I've been to Sue Rider, I bought some masks. Uh, I went to Lidl, I got a whole bunch of shopping and now I'm back again. I'm continuing with my admin, admins. I'm sorting out a bill, the water bill for the shop. And Sue, uh, a florist who was in the shop before us, moved a few doors down the road. She's closing down. It's not working for her in that position anymore. So she's getting rid of a whole load of stuff uh, and today she's been sending me pictures of all these things so we can take it into our shop and I'm going to help her out by selling a whole bunch of stuff off from shelves to floristry stuff because um, she's not been well and she's got to move it all home. Her business is going good but it doesn't seem any point to have a shop front anymore. To have a workshop at home seems more than adequate because she's delivering all the time not many people come in to just buy flowers. They order them for weddings and funerals and stuff like that. So she's changing her business. And I've had a message from um, the partner of one of my ex-students who's passed away, unfortunately. Um, it passed away earlier this year and he recorded with me. He wasn't technically a student. It was more of someone who just used the studio to came to record. Uh, and I've been going through all of my old hard drives because I saved all the recordings as much as I could. I did lose a couple of early hard drives that crashed, but I've still got some. I've got a little set of them here in a little bag. And I've found them. Oh, and it's just really nice to listen to, to the recordings. Uh, he's done Love Letters, Green Green Grass of Home, Don't. I'm not sure of that one and working man so i'm currently just giving them a little tweak on the mixing uh and putting i'm going to put them on a usb for her so that she can have them uh, and it's just brought back loads of memories of loads of people that i've recorded over the years at the studio i just constantly recorded seven years of recordings and before that um i used to record at home and kept those as well and I haven't recorded much at all recently, not even for me. And I think it's something that I'd like to be able to set up again. Um, and because I have had people ask and say, have you still got a studio we can, you know, come and record in? And it's just vocal stuff people want to record because I'm a good, blow me on trumpet, blah, 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 blah. I'm a good vocal uh, producer because I'm very much focused on getting the best vocals out of somebody, and getting the best technique and also getting the emotional quality. And I haven't done it in ages for anybody else, but I have had people ask for it. So I think in the garage at Liz's, uh, Simon has a studio at the back that needs quite a bit of work. But there's potential to have a uh, recording booth in the back. So uh, I've got all the recording stuff. Uh, I just need, oh, I need a little stand actually. Um, and I've got the soundproofing, everything. So it might be nice to just set that up again. Simon's just got back from work. Turns out he's off tomorrow, which is a good thing because I'm going to need help in the shop with all the shelves that Sue's dropped off today and glass vases and all sorts of stuff. Um, 
and uh, yeah it's busy busy at the moment i've started my list for all of the companies i need to let know that i'm moving everything from ebay to gas electricity council tax car insurance content oh god i can't believe i'm doing it again <laughs> but it's fine it's fine <sighs> So I've started my list. I'm starting to put all those down because we're aiming to move first weekend, first week of November uh, and be out of here by the end of November. So, yeah, we're going to give ourselves a crossover of like two weeks to finish clearing this house, like tidying it and come back in and making sure all the rubbish is gone and, you know, that kind of thing. I think that's the joy of um, certain types of move. Um often if you buy a house you literally have one day to get everything out in a van over in whereas we've got a bit of a crossover period the last time we moved we did last time before that we did i think it's important to try and have that crossover time if you can so you gotta fill holes in the wall or get rid of rubbish that even stuff like that uh, so i think i'm doing barbecue chicken for tea but it'll be fake chicken for me uh, and I'm now, while doing these tracks, finishing a pink blanket for somebody. Oh, hello. It's Friday at 20 to 12. It's chaos at the shop today. I made a decision that I would take in some cubes from Shout, from Sue's up the street. They're massive. <sighs> and they filled the entire shop. So Simon's here. He's upstairs trying to fit these cube shelves in somewhere. I've had another guy come in who used to had, have a shop like this who sold me a whole load of stuff that he didn't sell that's been in his shed. Um, and then the other lady who helps Sue is in there. So she's brought me some stools, 40 flower vases. What am I going to do with 40 flower vases? And it's just been chaos this morning. Sam has just brought me a cookie, which I thought was quite nice of him. And I'm gonna have it. I am having it. Uh, and I've had to redo the window. I've had to like move stuff around. It's been chaos. Um, so hopefully it's gonna calm down now. Get myself a cup of tea to go in the cookies. Hello, people. It is now quarter to seven, and I'm feeling well and truly fed up. So today actually went pretty well. The shop was good. There was lots of people in and out. I sold some tarot cards, a necklace, some other things. I gave a pendulum lesson to somebody. Uh, and genuinely, it was a really nice day. I did a singing session uh, with a, a student, a singer that had come from Manchester, which I thought was really lovely. It was actually from uh, Russia, uh, but was living in Manchester and came over for a singing lesson with me at the shop which I thought was really nice it was a gift from his partner and we had a really good hour I enjoyed it a lot and then I had a reading so I was carrying stuff out to my car just before the reading was due it was about quarter past four a reading was due at half past uh, and I heard someone yelling across the road from a car saying I've got a reading with you are you leaving uh, and I said, no, 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 I'm just taking stuff to my car. Uh, I'll be back. So um, this girl turns up for the reading and I could tell straight away that there was a barrier up. And when there's a barrier up, it's always difficult to do anything. So I explained what I was going to do in the reading. She didn't like the idea that there was going to be tarot cards. I don't know what she really expected, but... I don't know. <laughs> um, she had high expectations, though, I think, but I didn't know what those expectations were. Uh, so I did the best I could, which is what I do. I basically could challenge, channel whatever is there and I give them that information. Um, she wasn't happy. She didn't get to the tarot card bit. She said, you know, everything's not exactly right, even though plenty of it was right. She was still not not taken with the way that it went and she's like well I don't know if I've got faith that it's real and stuff like that so 
it kind of told me that she was already a skeptic when she came in so I don't know what she wanted to prove or what she was looking for or I don't really know anyway uh, I got the uh, oh I've left my money in the car uh, I'm just gonna nip out and get it uh, and at that point I even knew I was like she's gonna do a runner she's not paying uh, and I thought I'm not arguing I'm not I'm not even going to get into that scenario because it was just me and her nobody else so I thought do you know what if she leaves and doesn't come back then it is what it is and that's exactly what happened I already knew <laughs> funny eh as the psychic I already knew she wasn't coming back she didn't come back so I'm just in a a frustrated mood because that's the second bad psychic reading I've ever had. And I've given a lot of readings. And when I say it's bad, it's more a case of they... I don't know, it's like they expect me to say certain things. And if it doesn't go how they expect it to go, I'm either a fake or it's not real. Or I'm not good at what I do or, you know, whatever. Even though there was plenty of information that I gave her that did match up that was correct. It wasn't exactly as she wanted it to. So I kind of knew about halfway through that I can't win. Not that there's any winning involved, but it wasn't going to end well. <sighs> Spoken to Simon about it on the way back. And we, we spoke about getting to pay up front. Yeah, I get that. Normally what I do is take a deposit from them um, or they would book it online and pay up front anyway. But in this case, she was coming to the shop. She'd booked it by a text message. So I hadn't actually organised a deposit. So maybe I should have done that. What I have been doing is getting people to pay in advance. Even if they are coming to the shop, I'll send them the link. And for some reason, I didn't do that. Okay, fair enough. But it just, it just knocks you a little bit in that you think, am I good at what I do? And I know I'm good at what I do now. I'm at a point where I've done this for long enough and... Yeah, I think if you've got a barrier open, you've already got that negativity when you arrive. What do you expect? But then to do a runner and not pay, it's like, what? I mean, if you're not happy with a service for something, you would say you're not happy with the service and then I could potentially give some kind of offer of, I don't know, well, if you weren't happy with it, then charge them half or do something. But I didn't really get that opportunity. She spoke very little within the whole session. Um, so I don't know how I feel right now, you know. Should have got the money up front. Yeah, I get that. But... I mean, now, do I, because I have their telephone number, do I call them? Do I send them a text message and say how disappointed I am that you didn't pay? Because none of those things would solve the issue. The chances of a, you know, confessing and going, yeah, I'll pop in and pay. No, she won't. She's gone forever. I don't know. Just left me feeling really flat this evening got a bit of a headache now that's probably from all her negativity so because i soak it up from people it's probably what it is so when i got home simon made me some nice pasta and a cup of tea which was kind of him we watched the end of trolls which i've seen before but i just really feel flat and fed up now i feel kind of emotionally sad as well because it makes you question yourself if you're good at what you do and did you do the right thing? And just upset me a little bit. But there we go. But things I did achieve that were good and positive was I crocheted two sets of fingerless gloves, <laughs> which are really cute. They're really cute. Uh, I sold tarot cards and a necklace and I did a free pendulum thing. We showed someone how to use a pendulum and loads of customers came in. I had a really great singing lesson with someone. It was really good. They loved it. They enjoyed meeting me and it was just a really nice thing. 
Uh, and he was like, I'm so fangirling right now. And I'm like, I'm just a normal person. Seriously, just a normal person. And I'm sure they watch this. So you really did make my afternoon. Uh, lovely vocals. The vibrato at the end was just a real treat. It was lovely. Uh, I hope I didn't kill you with the coffee. <laughs> I don't make coffee, you see. I'm a tea person. So it's rarely rare that I make uh coffee for anybody but then the end of my day was a bit rubbish so I think maybe don't cry Georgie in a good god get a grip um I don't know maybe I'll watch a film or do something different <laughs> I don't know uh, and I need to paint tomorrow I really need to get that room finished because I've now got all my beauty stuff behind me. <laughs> I've taken the dressing table downstairs because I need to sell it. I'm not taking it with me. So over here is my nail varnish box. Then all my other beauty stuff from deodorant to facial, all that. And then there's two jewellery boxes and my hairdryer and my straighteners. And this kind of weird one that looks a bit like a brush, but it straightens. I've had that ages. It looks like a brush, but you run it through your, your hair and it straightens it. It's a bit weird. So I've got all that scattered everywhere. So, yeah, I need to start going through all that, get rid of stuff, what I don't need, that I don't need. And, uh, yeah, because I do have a massive jewellery box for very little jewellery. <laughs> There's barely anything in it. Oh, look, I'm already crying. This wasn't a good idea to open that drawer. This was a butterfly that was on Ellie's flowers at her funeral. And I kept one. Yeah. Uh, other bits and pieces that were my mum's. Uh, Snoopy! Someone gave me a Snoopy. Had to keep the Snoopy. Uh, my dad's phone. Look, my dad's old phone. I kept my dad's phone. And then uh, I can't even think what some of these are. Oh, my mum's amber ring i used to wear that a lot uh alex and ellie's birth tags Ugh, another amber bracelet that i don't know where that came from i think that might have been my mum's i don't know that don't work <laughs> i know in that way it don't work that top one my bracelets all up there and then uh, my mum was jewellery boxes behind and up here is rings mainly this was my engagement ring and I still love it but it's lost a, a garnet oh god again I'm probably going to cry now I wore this for Ellie's funeral it's the ribbon for epilepsy my wedding ring <laughs> uh, that was my mum's it spins it's got like a uh, an extra ring on the outside it spins that was my mum's eternity ring and then just all the bits and pieces that I've sort of collected along this was from a boyfriend when I was like 16 <laughs> oh god look uh, belly button I had my belly button pierced twice both times it went manky but I kept them they're quite similar that one is amethyst and that one is amethyst. <laughs> so I had the same twice. Oh dear. Also bits and pieces. I don't know what that one. Oh that one was from Simon who bought me that one. And that one. I better get a grip of myself. Because I'm painting tomorrow. Uh, and uh, yeah. Hello. It's Sunday. It's 20 past 12. I'm in b &Q car park. I'm just about to get some paint for the ceiling. I'm really not feeling it today. I don't think I protected myself yesterday before the reading, gave myself a, an energy circle or anything like that. Because she arrived early, I just felt I was like sort of rushing to get organized and I didn't do my usual routine of grounding and circling myself with bad you know energy so if 
Uh, she brought negativity. I wouldn't soak it in. She brought tons of negativity and I soaked it all in and now I feel awful. I feel emotional. I feel fuzzy. I just don't feel very good today. But this room is not going to paint itself. Um, i got to go and find some white paint for the ceiling. And then go off and paint this room. Yay. It's done me. That reading proper did me yesterday. The negativity just put me at rock bottom. So I've got to rebuild myself back up again. Right, let's go and get the paint. So I'm here. I've done one coat on the ceiling already. I've only been here maybe 20 minutes. So I've managed to do one coat on the ceiling. Now I have to wait two to four hours for it to dry. Right, so that was my brother just phoning me just as I was about to film. He was just driving. Just thought he'd phone and catch up with me. It was our mum's birthday last week. Uh, the 20th and it also would have been my wedding anniversary on that date so we were just catching up you know and so i've taken the carpet up i've done one coat on the ceiling and it's starting to get to a point where it's dry enough to do the second coat but i've ripped the carpet up so now i need simon's help i need him to carry the carpet downstairs and the underlay and help me get up the grippers because uh, there's grippers all the way around and i don't have anything to get them up with um, I might have, I might have, um, but I could do with a bit of help, so I'll show you. Near the doorway, it looks like it was painted. See that little, little patch that was painted at some point? And then if I go over here, you can see the rest of the floor. What a difference it makes to pull up that carpet. It was covered in paint and crap, because I've been painting in here. And I figured it's time to get the carpet up. Obviously, I'm going to get paint on the floor, but does it matter? Look at it. <laughs> it does need a bit of repair. There's a couple of bits missing. There, there, and there. So we need to repair those bits. And I quite like the floor, you know. I know there's folks who will sand it and paint it for you. So I'm wondering if that's an option. What do you reckon? Or just cover it? There's a lot of nails stuck up as well, you see, look? So they all need hammering down. I think it's obviously bowed over the years, so the, the nails are stuck up. So it's going to need a bit of repair. But um, I wonder, shall I keep it wood? I quite like it. Obviously I need sanding. And then varnishing or something. But there's possibilities there, isn't there? Probably not going to get it done today, so if you've got any suggestions, let me know. I've now got to carry on with the win the, the window, the ceiling. Da -da -da -da. Good old ice cream van. Um, I'm thinking as well, thanks to Richard's ideas, look at me, I forgot my hair bobble. Hair's everywhere. Um, Richard said, why don't you get USB plugs? Because he's an electrician, he got uh, he went on an electrician's course as part of the job that he does, which is erecting cranes. Uh, he's also got his HDV license as well, part of erecting chain trains. Anyway, trains cranes. Anyway, uh, he said, "Why don't you get some of them USB plugs?" Yes, absolutely, genius idea. The kind of on the floor though, so. But there is potential to have one like higher up where my desk's going to be because I've got a few options for the desk I've got either this side so we get the light flooding in which I quite like um, or this side and do it that way it just depends if my desk fits in this slot I'd have to because there's a radiator here you see which is just going to get in the way so oh god it's so warm now pulling that carpet up so because of the radiator, I don't actually know if it's going to fit. It might. If I can find a measure in this house somewhere, I'll measure it. Otherwise, um, I'll measure my desk when I get back and see. I 
think it might be a little bit wider. I don't know. I don't know. But we're getting there. It's coming together. And it's got a lovely white ceiling. Oh, it looks patchy though. But that was the first coat, so, so we'll go again. So it's now quarter to six and I have finished for today. I am sweating, but I have finished one whole coat of the grey. Took a while, cause you've got to go all around. Oh, there's some white ceiling, damn it. I'll get that in a second. Uh, you've got to go all around the edges and then fill in. So it's not looking at its best so far, cause this is the first coat. Uh, but I will put another coat on later this week. Hopefully it will get a bit lighter because it's a bit darker than planned. It's not as uh, light that it is on the box. The box, the tin. Uh, so I'm calling it a day today. And also I'm calling it a day for the vlog for today. I'm going to go home now, get some Chinese food, wash my hands since I'm very grey right now. I just want to say thank you very much for supporting me and watching my vlogs. It's been quite up and down these last few days. Uh, but please get involved in the comments. I do really appreciate it. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, loves.